Hello, this is Atubo and Gloria George, and we are so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, we have a lot to share with you, but before we go into all that, can we call forth our daily bread? It's important you do yes. so because Jesus commanded us to do it. So, can you join us right now as we declare, say, Father, Father I, receive, I today. receive today my daily bread, my daily bread. Right, now, right now it's all coming to me it's all coming to every, me. Need every need that will show up today that will show up today will be met will be met in jesus, in jesus name. name amen, amen. praise god Hallelujah. we we've been talking about commanding your household. your household how do you command your household first of all is showing the good attitude. As, as parents, you come under pressure, maybe financial pressure. Mm. And the options are there, go borrow money. Mm. You know, go borrow money. Mm. Go, go beg somewhere, mm. you know, something. What do you do? What do you do? And this is it. You get to that point where the word of God comes. Mm. You know, yesterday we were talking about how you teach your children, children. and God use their children now to put you in, in check. check. So now you teaching your children the word of God. Say, look, oh no man, yeah. anything. And that's what God said. That, that's the thought of God. Yeah. He doesn't want you to borrow. That's his thoughts, that's his mind. He says you shall be the head. And not the tail. He said, You shall lend and you shall not borrow. borrow. And that's God's mind because He knows that the rich rules over okay. the poor. And the borrower, the, 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 the borrower is subject to, to the, the lender. lender. So when you borrow money, you bring yourself under the authority of the person, of the person that yeah. you borrow. And that means you, you, now you are supposed to be under God's authority. Mm. But then when you go put yourself under such an authority, it affects God's dealings with you. You, you understand? Now, having this understanding, and then now there is actually a it's situation. Yes. And one of the options is to go borrow. What do you do? You know your children are watching. They are watching because whatever you're going to do, not just for yourself, not just to meet that need. Mm -hmm. These ones are going to copy. So instead of just closing up and like, look, let me go out. You get yourself into that place and say, Lord, I know you're mine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, we've not pushed. You know, many believers, you hear them speak, hey, what should I have done? You've not pushed this thing mm -hmm. enough. Stay with God. You've not pushed this thing. I mean, we, we, we've seen. We've undergone certain pressures. Uh, this thing, you've got to draw the line. Mm. I can't cross here. I can't cross here. How would you feel your, your children going somewhere and then say, Your dad is owing us some money? Mm -hmm. not, not their school fees, not their. I remember one time. Um, our daughter was in school, went to school and the, this is their club stuff and they had to tell her that um, you can't join the club because they have not paid and she, she responded she said no my dad have paid mm -hmm. they said no now because there was I think there was a club between the accounts department they have mm -hmm. not reconciled it yeah. between the accounts yeah. department and, the and, and list. exactly yes. and, and, and the club and like, hey, my dad no and and she came back that day and she was at us. I like, yeah. how come? <laughs> she was not happy at all. And they 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 they, they did not hear to her. Yes, because they, they sent yeah, her. They sent they her away. Yeah. So immediately we picked her from the car. She was already talking about it. Now, how come you didn't pay for my club fees? I was not allowed to participate in club. So we're like, how? We paid. So we told her that next time when that happens, she should tell them to call mommy and daddy. Now, the, the, this was at the club point where the teacher in charge had collected the list, but not the updated list. Yeah. 
Now, by the time the accountants knew and the club officials knew, like the, the person that writes it down, they're already taken aback. Like, how? <laughs> they don't owe. So they, they already knew that we don't owe. Oh. It's a decision we mm. took. Mm. Not just for ourselves. Yeah. But that our children will come to understand. Now, we, you see, we didn't take the decision because we have abundance. No. We took the decision because we trust in the Lord. And if I'm trusting in you, see, if I'm trusting in the Lord, then why should I trust him for peanuts? Mm. Why can't I trust him for the whole? <laughs> you understand? Right, right. So if, if, if God is the one that is going to do it, then let him do it well. So how can I be trusting in the Lord and every time they have to chase our children yeah, away from school, school because of school? school fees. Fees. And said, hey, I'm trusting in the Lord. No, you are not. What has he said to you? When you say you're trusting in the Lord, what, 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 are what you exactly are you doing? Yes. What are you standing on? Trusting in the Lord doesn't mean folding your arms and say, I don't know what to do. I'm trusting the Lord. Before you got to that point, you should have known. You know, you know sometimes people, hey, what will I do now? I have to go and borrow. Mm. No, when you were taking that decision, now we're teaching you how to command your, 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 your children and your household. You, you've got to be smart and take responsibility for your life when when our children were to start school and our daughter was to start school because she was the first and we 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 prayed to the lord to guide us yeah. to the school that she would go to yeah. and that's because we understood that this is a commitment that we are going to be making with the school yeah. so when the lord directed us and like this is a school okay so we got the school fees we both knelt down and prayed right. to the Lord. I said, Lord, you have chosen the school. Now here's the deal. Your word says we should owe no, no man, man anything. anything. So you see, as the school is concerned, there is no day our daughter or our children, because we don't think God did not tell us this one should go here and this one should go. So, so we knew that we, that's where God is commanding us. So, like there is no time that that school will resume and our children are going to step foot in that school without their yeah, fees being paid in. Yeah. No. Now, we didn't have the money that day when we were praying this way. But we knew one thing God has said, that's the school. And if God puts his mouth to it, he will pick the bill. Mm -hmm. But then in picking the bill, and that's where your mindset comes in. Okay. If you think uh, when they drive our children out from school, that's when we now pray, mm -hmm. God will now provide the money. Mm -hmm. That's how he'll be working with you. Mm -hmm. But because we understood that God has called us to an honorable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we knew that if we were making a commitment with this school, because that's what it is. It is not just a one-off payment. The same thing you're renting a house. You're making a commitment with that landlord or whoever is in charge of that. It's a commitment that you're making. And you've got to show faithfulness where that commitment is concerned. You don't, you don't get to the point of payment. And you know, like people do it and say, in fact, this school, you did not give this thing that you said you were going to give. You did not. not that, there's a difference in holding them to be responsible for their commitment, accountable yeah. for their commitment. Yeah. But you don't now say, that as an excuse. no. You do your part. Yes. Yeah. So we made that decision and said, Lord, this is our deal with you. It must be paid before they step into that school. And then we asked the Lord, Lord, now I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to show you, this thing is not just something just tell yourself and go and sleep. So we say, Lord, as a sign that you have, you're confirming this, yeah, this thing, is the school. provide the first, the first one. Yeah. And he did. When the Lord provided the money for the first school fees, we knew, we knew that we're not going to think about it. We're not going to worry over where that is concerned. And it has been, we have three of them. <laughs> it's been the same thing. He takes care of it. 
He just keeps taking care of it. He just keeps taking care of it. Mm. Now, we didn't make some blind decisions. We were walking I'm with sure. the Lord. First of all, we went before him, show us the scope. He did. The next, we went before him and said, if this is where you have shown us, because mm. when you walk with God, you've got to show to the Lord. Mm. That's your thinking. Mm -hmm. God loves thinkers. Mm. He doesn't work with dull people. Okay, Lord, you chose this school for us, but this is how we want it. And he will do it. Now, that's a proof that our minds have grown to that point of excellence. Mm. We can say ah, we are we are ministers, so mm -hmm. you know, mm. you know, <laughs> we go to the school and say, please, can you can you you know we are ministers of the gospel? Can you give us some ministers' reads? <laughs> oh, because it's someone's vision, and our part in that vision is to pay the fees. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, not just pay, we pray for their vision also and, and, and trust the spirit of it. Now, now, your children growing up to see that. Now, not just leaving it to chance, we tell them. That's why when that incident happened, we, we had to tell, sit our daughter down and explain to her why we don't owe. So we use the opportunity. That's why they say in teach. everything, yes. give thanks. Mm -hmm. See, because now when that issue came up and he said, ah, why didn't you put person? No, 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 no. We've paid. We've paid. And not just, not just do the proud thing no. of we have paid. Mm -hmm. No, like, hey, Sit down. we don't owe. And it's not our why. principle to owe. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason. This is what God has said. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no man, man, nothing. So in another situation, ask for your daddy or your mom to be to called. To be called because they don't owe. Yeah, because you, you, you shouldn't deprive yourself of your club activities by ignorance. Exactly. So we also expose that to truth, being able to stand for truth and also yeah. being submissive to authority. Exactly, yeah. That's also teaching them the way of the Lord. You don't fight authority. My parents have paid. Do you know my parents? There are some children that talk very rudely to the authority. Because they see their parents talk rudely to yeah, others. So you just say no, please. When, you're, when your children see you talking rudely to your staff members, mm. you're training them. When they see you come you come here, hey, mm -hmm. you do this, mm -hmm. come, mm -hmm. you're training them. Some children, even at school, maybe you're called that something happened in school and you go as a parent, you know, talking about school, like just dropped in my spirit to bring this up. Do you know who I am? Do you know who you are talking to? And they are watching. Your children are watching. Then tomorrow, maybe an incident goes on in school. Oh, do, do you, you know, know who I am? <laughs> That's not the way of the Lord. He says, teach them the way of the Lord, which is justice mm. and judgment. Which is also righteousness. That's righteousness. Everything, financial dealings, you let them know. That's why you let them know this is the source of yeah. our finances, yeah. our tithes. Because yeah. we depend on mm -hmm. the blessing. Mm -hmm. We don't depend on one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, this thing is going to give us money. No, mm -hmm. we depend on the blessing. Mm -hmm. And when the blessing, when God, when a miracle happens, we let them know. Yes. You know, we're praying about this. Mm -hmm. This is what God, God did. This is how He did, did it. it. What are you doing? You're creating an expectancy in their hearts. When it comes to health, the same thing. Before you start thinking of hospital and then, do you lay hands to pray? And sometimes we tell our children, okay, you pray for me. Mm -hmm. And then they pray, say, so tell him to check if the pain is still there. <laughs> what are we doing? We are teaching them to act as believers. Mm -hmm. Lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm and the sick will recover. Mm. And don't just lay hands as a religion. Mm. But when you finish laying hands, have an expectation mm. that something should happen. Yeah. Just a check. Mm -hmm. Can you still feel the pain? What are we doing? We are commanding them the to keep the way of the Lord. Mm. Good character, good attitude, wherever you go. Why? Because you are under God okay. and you're walking by faith mm. in His authority. Mm. 
Thank you, Lord. Our time is all. Praise God. Listen, like we said, if you have questions, don't hesitate. We'll look for a way to answer them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. These words are being sown in faith. And we see the harvest of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray for everyone watching and listening right now. Doors of opportunities to do your work is open to them. And as they make those decisions to do your truth, they receive help from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless, bless you. you. Bye-bye.